I have a Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 Classic here. I'm going to show you how to set it up step by step. First thing is go ahead and turn on your watch. You can press and hold the power button. Just hold it for a few seconds so you feel it vibrate and the Samsung logo appears. Then put it down. Next thing is go ahead and grab your phone. And what you want to do is go to the uh, App Store. Go to the uh, App Store. And then what you want to type in, uh, do a search for is Galaxy Wearable App. Okay, the icon here looks like this. It says Wear. Okay. Once you download and installed it, you want to go ahead and open it up. For me, it shows up in my Samsung folder here. If I tap on that, and I see Galaxy Wearable. Okay, go ahead and tap on that. Now for me, it says Start here. Now the thing is, if you already had it downloaded from a previous Galaxy Watch, what you have to do at the top, when you open it up, the top left-hand side is like three uh, horizontal lines. Tap on that, tap on Add Device, and then uh, wait till it finds your Samsung Classic uh, Watch 4 Classic. Tap on that, wait a few seconds, and it's going to give you like a, um, a number code. And, you, and then, uh, if, well, if you're from here, if you're new to this, then you just tap on start right there. And this will scan for the device. So give it one second, just make sure it's close. Okay, I get a code here. And the code here matches right there. Yep, so I'm going to go ahead and tap on confirm right here. Your watch is now paired. Send diagnostic data, that's optional, that's up to you. You can have that check or uncheck. For me, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'll check it and I'll tap on agree down here. And here, this message here, I'm gonna tap on okay. I'm gonna tap on allow down here. You can go ahead and read through these and the usage and data reports. I mean, these are optional, you can still continue, but I'm fine with both of these checked. I'm gonna tap on continue here. Okay, we're almost done here. I just put my watch here so you can see if anything is happening to my watch. Getting Google account info. Choose your Google account. You can always skip this and you can do it later if you wish. Or if you have it up here, you can go ahead and just sign in or choose another account. Okay, so for me, I'm just going to go ahead and sign in here. I'll tap that right there. Now it says copy uh, to your watch. Copy your Google accounts to your watch. You go back and skip if you don't want to do it. But if you want to proceed, just tap on copy right here. Oops. I need my thumbprint here. Restore your watch from backup. If you backed up this or a previous watch, try restoring for easier setup. So if you have a previous watch or whatnot, you can go ahead and uh, click on next for a faster setup. Or if not, for me, I want a uh, clean slate. I'm just gonna tap on skip. Finishing up. It says completing setup. It says you are, you're all set on the watch right there. And it says you're all set on the phone as well. And there we go. And the watch here says starting. Give this one second. And then you can go ahead and take a tour of your watch. You can tap on start. Swipe down from the top to open up the quick panel. Okay, so just swipe down like that. Swipe up to go to your watch. Swipe down to the right. 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 Swipe so there we go pretty easy any questions or issues just uh comment below all right good luck